In this video, I will compare Webflow versus Go High Level and tell you which of these tools may be best for you and your needs. So if you want to build a website and you're wondering whether Webflow or Go High Level is best for you and your business, in my opinion, it is very simple. And I'll just explain the differences in this video and tell you which one I would use in each case. So Webflow is definitely the harder to use option, but that does come with more customizability. That is what Webflow is very good for. Now you can see on their product here, you can build your website with their designer, page building, edit mode. You can do e-commerce on your website. You have interactions, accessibility, SEO, CMS, and some additional features. Now, if you are looking to build an e-commerce website, then I would 100% go with Webflow since that is not included in Go High Level. Now, in terms of pricing on Webflow, you have different plans and it depends on whether you want to add your team or if it's just going to be one person and whether you want to use general or e-commerce. So if you're not looking to create an e-commerce site and you want to create a general site, then you can see the pricing right here. So it's not that expensive. Now, if you are looking to create an e-commerce site, again, I would go with Webflow. Now, Go High Level is not necessarily a website builder, but it does have it as one of its features with over a thousand different templates for different industries. But all of those industries are local businesses and service-based businesses. So you have real estate, you have barbers, beauty and fashion, stuff like that. Now you also have additional features such as marketing automation features. You have booking and appointments, CRM, sales funnels, of course the website builder, and then you have surveys, email marketing, SMS marketing, courses and products, call tracking, reputation management, tracking and analytics, communities, document signing, and a gray labeled mobile app and white labeled desktop app. Now, in terms of pricing for Go High Level, they have the starter plan at 97 USD per month and unlimited at 297. Now with the starter plan, you can manage up to three sub accounts, which means three businesses. So if you're just using it for yourself and your business, starter is more than enough for you and you will get access to all features with unlimited contacts and users. Then in unlimited, you can manage unlimited sub accounts and you will get access to a branded desktop app and API access. So I'll just tell you right now, which one should you use Webflow or go high level? If you have experience with building websites and you're looking for the option that allows for the most customizability, I would go with Webflow. Also, if you're looking to create a blog, an informational website or an e-commerce website, then I would go with Webflow. Also, I would use Webflow if you're looking to create a website for a large business or enterprise. Now for small to medium sized businesses that want to use their website mainly for lead generation, I would 100% go with Go High Level. For local lead generation, I think Go High Level is unbeatable because it has so many features that work very well with the website. So you can collect your leads, you can set up automatic campaigns to contact those leads, you will have them in your CRM and you have so many automations and additional features that come with your website on Go High Level. Now, if you want to get started with Webflow, you can do so through the link down in the description completely for free. And usually Go High Level only offers a 14 day free trial. If you want to get access to an extended 30 day free trial, then you can claim that through the link down in the description. So click on the link in the description to get a 30 day free trial to Go High Level instead of the usual 14 days. So now you know whether you should use Webflow or Go High Level to build your website. So again, for local lead gen, go with Go High Level and pretty much for any other case, go with Webflow. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next video.